Welcome to Westgate Chevrolet. Today we're taking a quick look at the interior and exterior features of the 2020 Chevrolet Suburban. This Suburban in particular comes with our chrome grille, black Chevrolet bow ties, our black metallic paint, rear privacy tint, and our alloy chrome rims. Now moving on to the interior of the Tahoe, we'll take a look first at some of the driver's features, starting off with the driver's side door card. We can see here we have our black padded leather with our light gray stitching that continues on to the armrest. Just at the front of the armrest, we have our clothes handle. We also have our rear window locks and rear child locks, our four automatic power windows for front and rear. We also have our power mirror adjustment with our joystick and our power mirror folded. Just down below, we have our memory seat adjustments, two settings, and we also have our chrome door handle with our lock and unlock buttons just in front. Take a look again down below, where we'll see we have storage in the low portion of the door card, and we also have our nice wooden trim. Side of the seat, we have our power seat adjustments and power lumbar support as well. And then at the bottom of the door, we have our Bose speaker as part of the Bose premium audio system in the vehicle. Off to the left of the steering wheel, we have quite a few options. We have our heads up display adjustment up and down, the info displayed on the heads up display as well as our brightness. Go ahead and take a quick peek at that now. Just bring it into range, we can see it there. Turn the brightness up a little bit. We can see we're displaying the current song we're listening to. We have our direction, our tachometer, as well as just the speed itself. We also have our park assist, lane keep assist, our traction control on and off, as well as our pedal adjustment. Below that's our trailer brake. And we have our four wheel drive system, our daytime running lights, as well as our interior lighting. Here is our odometer. We have our two physical odometers on each side and then our digital screen in the middle. That can be adjusted with the buttons on the right side of the steering wheel here. We can go ahead and scroll through our info, audio, phone, navigation, as well as more settings. We can also see what we're displaying on the wheel, trip timer, tire pressure, things like that. And we also have the voice commands and phone hangup located on the right side. Left side, we have our heated steering wheel option. We have our front collision alert, as well as our cruise control. Full black leather wrapped steering wheel with the same light gray stitching on the underside that we found on the door. We have our trailering option on the top of the gear select stock, as well as our manual gear select. Speaker on the top of the dash. And here we have our infotainment system. Right now it's in the radio setting. We can see we have our five station presets along the bottom as well as our shortcuts. We'll go ahead and hit the home button and go to the home screen here where we can see we have our audio, phone, projection and navigation. We also have a text option, our OnStar and our traffic. We have the setting two here to move up the screen. Behind there we'll find a USB port and a textured rubber pad at the bottom for uh, charging your phone. Here we have our radio settings, volume and tuner. And then a small CD player tucked underneath. We have our standard climate controls here in the middle. Our two uh, LCD screens in the middle of the knobs for our dual zone climate, display the current temperature in degrees Celsius. And then we also have our rear climate control. Option to lock it to the front. And then we also have the two options for heated seats and cooled seats for driver and passenger. Our first storage compartment here, we have storage for pens. We also have our 12 volt charging port and two USB ports. Inside of the second one, we have our two cup holders. On top of the center console, we have a leather wrapped lid with our remote charging station. If we have a phone compatible with remote charging, you can just set it on top. The rubber textured pad will make sure it doesn't move while you're driving and it's easy to access as well. Inside of the center console, we'll find two USB ports and an auxiliary input. And on the right side, we'll find a 12 volt charging port. Now back onto the front seats, we can see we have our black patent leather with the gray stitching we've seen throughout, as well as our perforated leather in the lower portion, allowing for maximum breathability of the leather. On the rear view mirror, we'll see our OnStar controls. 
Just above, we'll see our three garage door openers. We have our dome lights and dome light settings just here. Then we have our power lift gate settings and, and control. Push the button in to use. We have max recorders and off as the settings. And then we also have our sunroof and moonroof controls. In front of that, we have our sunglass holder, a mirror to view our children or passengers in the rear. And then we have our sunroof above. Back onto the outside, we can take a good look at the alloy chrome rims on the Suburban. We have our Chevrolet bow tie center caps. The chrome grill with our blacked out Chevrolet bow tie. And our black um, headlight housing. With our Chevrolet bow tie in the housing. We have our chrome mirror caps, rear privacy tint, our rubber padded running boards and Suburban in chrome. We also have our chrome and black door handles with our lock and unlock buttons. Around to the back, we can see Suburban as well as Premier, both in chrome. And we also have our black Chevrolet bow tie. Now there's three ways to activate the power lift gate in this vehicle, or four I should say. One is the uh, foot sensing. We have the button on the key, the button inside the vehicle, as well as the rubber pad under the handle. We'll just use that for right now. Inside we can see with all seats fully reclined. We have plenty of storage in the back. We also have the seat fold down options on the rear with a 12 volt charging port just underneath. Now moving on to the rear interior of the Suburban, we'll take a look first at the rear passenger's door card. We can see we have the same black padded leather with our gray stitching and our chrome door handle, our cup holder, as well as our automatic power window switch and wooden paneling. Then our speaker and storage in the lower portion. We also have ma our leather magazine holders in the back of the front seat. And back of the center console, we have our charging port, our 12 volt charging port, our rear temperature controls and heated seats and then storage just below. In the back of the Suburban, we have two bucket seats, both with our black patent leather and perforated leather in the lower portion, complemented by our light gray stitching. And we have the addition of armrests in the rear. Then we have our 60-40 split bench in the far back. Go ahead and take a look at those seats. We can see the same black patent leather and our perforated leather. We have our cup holder and storage on the right side. And on the left side, we have two cup holders and a 12 volt charging port. Thank you for joining us for this video walk around of the 2020 Chevrolet Suburban. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we hope to see you in at Westgate Chevrolet sometime very soon.